What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action, which is post my own adaptive card to the user as the Flowbot, or some combination of those words. Uh, what it allows you to do is it allows you to post an adaptive card, not wait for any feedback, but just post it to an individual user, and that's it. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger because I don't need to do anything. Um, I don't need to get any any pre pre data or anything like that. I can click on New Step. I can go to Microsoft Teams. From here, I can scroll down to the very bottom, and we have this one here that says Post your own adaptive card as the Flowbot to a user. So I nearly had that right in the title. Choose that one, and then we we have several parameters that we can put input. The first one is recipient. So this is the email address of the recipient. So if I just type Matt into here, it's gonna look up the max in my tenant and allow me to select mine there. Else I can just put in my whole email address. The message is the actual adaptive card itself. So if you have built your adaptive card in either the adaptive card builder or in one of the other actions where you can open that adaptive card builder inside Power Automate, you can then post it here. Else, if you're really good at adaptive cards and you can write it off the top of your head, by all means, have at it in that box. Uh, but what I've done is I've pre-made a card and it's in my keyboard buffer. So I'm just going to paste that in there. Next, you have a headline, so the subject. And if I click on show advanced options, I've got two others as well. I've got a summary and I've got is alert. So in the headline, in the in the last um, in the last video that I did, we did the same action, but we posted it to a channel. This video um, is posting it to a user. So I think the summary and the uh, headline will appear, whereas the headline in the previous video did not. So I'm going to write this is a headline, and then in the summary, we'll write this is a summary. And um, we can say, is this an alert or not? So if we select this to yes, then it's going to pop up in various places. Um, so we'll set all these on, and then we'll go take a look at where all these go. So with that, we've filled in all the fields. We've got our adaptive card, uh, JSON here, so we can build this. Let's test this. So we'll click on test, I'll perform the trigger action. We will run the flow, click done. Uh, what we're going to notice is that the flow instantly runs. So it runs, we're not waiting for any user feedback like we've seen in previous videos where we need to wait for someone to submit something back to Power Automate to then do something. This is just saying, hey, here's an adaptive card with whatever data you've got, here you go. If we flip over to Microsoft Teams, we can take a look at what this has done. So here's Microsoft Teams. You'll notice that I have all of these alerts. So I've got an alert behind my ellipsis here that is on the flow, that is my flow bot. I've got a chat alert and I've got an activity alert. If we look at the activity alert first, we can see this is the summary and that's where that goes. Um, if I look in my, um, oh no, we still don't see the headline. Still don't, still don't know where that headline is. But we, at least see, we can see the summary uh, that's populated into here. And we can see this is my adaptive card that I built. Welcome to Jurassic Park with an image of Jurassic Park. I have nothing else. I don't have any actions or anything else that I need to submit as part of this. It is just here is the um, here is the, the the adaptive card. Here is potentially the information that you need. Here you go, sort of thing. Um, and that's it. That's that's the the long and short of it. So we did get alerts. We do have this little summary here. Um, there's no uh, headline still, still don't know what that headline does. Uh, maybe it does something else um, that I'm not aware of. If you know, let me know in the comments down below what that does. Um, if I go back to Power Automate now, we can see it's all all um, done here and it's all, it's all been sent. And we can see those details there. So there we have it. That is the, the adaptive card um, uh, to a user using the Flowbot. Um, message action. Um, I think this is a useful tool, especially if you just need to surface information to a user. Otherwise, you don't have all your flows just waiting around for users to click a button. Now, the adaptive cards where you do wait for a user response, they're really important because those are for situations where you need to send that response and potentially do something with that data. If you just need to send the stuff to a user, 
um, and you want to use an adaptive card for that, you absolutely can do. Uh, one of the very first things I did with Power Automate uh, and APIs was I went off and I went and grabbed a, um, an API that, that would deliver me uh, images of cats. So every day when I clicked a button, it would just send, it would just go off, it'd find me a picture of a cat, and it would just show it in, in uh, it would just update my, my uh, OneDrive file with this image of a cat. I could totally use this to just say, hey, I want a cat, and it'll go off, it'll go grab, grab a cat from that API. I could embed it into my adaptive card, and it would just send me a cat every day. I think that's a really nice thing, and I may go and set that up. But as always, I want to know what you guys will use this for. Let me know in the comments down below what your use cases are. If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.